The creative process is not uh, always about like proving that you were right at the beginning. It's about setting up a, um, a way to discover uh, an idea. I've known Ben for many years now, and, and, and he brought this up. He's like, hey, this is an opportunity to do something for Times Square. Do you wanna, do you wanna brainstorm something? Times Square is really a symbol for how our culture works right now. It's, it's a symbol for how we experience things through screens and how we record them through cameras. And so what we decided to do is to say, okay, maybe we can make an object that actually captures that. Uh, and that's why we decided to do a lens. We've built prototypes and uh, done a lot of 3D modeling uh, to prove that we can really, we can warp the image of Times Square towards this window. And at the window is a little, uh, the, the hole in the donut, if you will, is, uh, is a heart. The largest Fresnel lens is in a lighthouse in Hawaii. We're making a Fresnel lens that's slightly bigger than that, uh, 12 foot two. Technically, we have the largest Fresnel lens in history. The way Fresnel lenses had been made traditionally is using glass. And we, we wanted to try something more 21st century. Marcella was telling us about Formlabs and, and, and how they, you developed this um, resin that can be clear. We really wanted to feature that. The challenge uh, has been how to do that at scale. 3D printing offers, offers a few advantages. One, you can, you can run a lot of printers in, in parallel, and you're able to build very large things uh, through this distributed manufacturing. The decisions on uh, the shape, the adhesion, the spacing of the tiles actually came a lot from the experimentation that Formlabs was doing. They tried different sizes, different types of tiling. I think we examined like 30 glues. Being able to test a clear product out of a 3D printer was quite a big step. With this, we could actually print the real tiles. We wanted to make sure that this structure is structurally sound. It's in the middle of Times Square. There's 400,000 people a day that walk by Times Square. We're making these very large acrylic sheets that are they're like sort of half cutouts of the larger lens. The whole thing goes into a metal cradle with tripods that holds it in place and prevents it from moving. Now comes the lamination of the 3D prints, and that will really give it the optical effect. There's, there's no amount of design and modeling that's actually going to tell us what something's going to look like and how people are going to react to it. That's the thing that sometimes you forget. You can design something, you can render it, and you, you know how it's going to look like. But until you put it in front of people, you don't know what's going to happen. That part should be, is really fascinating. What I think is going to really happen when we put it on Times Square is that it will then be surrounded by hundreds and thousands of people um, and that's something that's going to be really special because you will allow people to interact with each other through the lens um, and around the lens in ways that we can't predict. What's really special about Times Square is that it really brings every kind of person there um, from all over the world and every age, uh, every background. We would not have proposed this uh, a year ago. We really wanted to show the world that this kind of experiment and seeing at this scale is something uniquely possible now. If you look at sort of the tools of design and the ways of manufacture things, they've sort of been the same for many years. But I think 3D printing has pushed that a magnitude over um, in terms of automation, in terms of geometries that were realizable before. Things that today look really hard or difficult to do and five years from now are going to be commonplace and then going to be more and more commonplace as we move forward. And to me, kind of that's a fundamental beauty of what we're doing is that we're doing something that's actually accessible to a lot of people now.